Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. So today I'm here with Rapid Fire Question Series, and this is the Rapid Fire Question Series for PG entrance exams and interviews. So today is question six, and today's question is differences between cell line, primary culture, and secondary cell culture. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So when the cells are isolated directly from the tissue of an animal and allowed to propagate in an artificial system, those are called primary cell culture. So here you can see this is the cute rat and we are isolating the cells from these and we are isolating the cells from a particular tissue of these animals and then we will allow those cells to propagate in our laboratory or in an artificial system and those cells are basically called primary cell culture. When these primary cell cultures grow and propagate, they reach at the state when all the available space of the culture vessel is occupied because we know that cells undergo continuous cell division and as the cells are undergoing continuous division, they will occupy all the available space of the culture vessel. At that time, these cells are required to be subcultured. That means we split the primary cell culture into two or more to allow their growth and further propagation. Basically, we are providing those cells more space to grow here. At this time, the culture is referred as cell line or secondary cell culture. So here you can see this cell, this is the primary cell and we are dividing this cell into three plates. So these three plates are containing those cells, those are now called cell line or secondary cell culture. So basically cell line and secondary cell culture is same. Therefore, Primary cell culture is obtained directly from the animal tissue whereas cell line or secondary cell culture is established from primary cell culture. 